chapter 5, chapter 4, Mishnah 6. The Mishnah continues to discuss a Zav who transmits Tuma through a scale. However, the previous Mishnah deals with a Zav on a scale who makes a bed or seat Tame with Midras, while our Mishnah deals with a Zav on a scale who makes an item Tame with Hesed. The general theme of our Mishnah is that only a Zav and similarly Tame with people like a Zav Arnida, but no other source of Tuma can make something Tame through Hesed. Now we turn to the words of the Mishnah. If a Zav is on one pan of a balanced scale and food or drink is on the second pan, on the other side of the scale, the food or drink is Tame from the Hesed of the Zav, whether the Zav weighs down his side of the scale or they weigh down their side. But regarding a corpse, i.e. if a corpse is on either side of the scale, everything is Tahor, i.e. no matter what kind of item is on the other side of the scale, a bed or seed or any other utensil or food or drink, it remains Tahor. Unless the item on the other side of the scale is a person, that is, if a corpse was on one side of a scale, and a person was on the other side, and the person rests, and the person weighs down his side, the person will become Tame. Having mentioned a stringency that applies to a Zav, but not to a corpse, i.e. that a Zav can transmit Tuma on a scale through Hesip, but not, a corpse cannot, the Mishnah further contrasts the laws of a Zav with the laws of a corpse. There are stringencies that apply to a Zav over a corpse, and there are stringencies that apply to a corpse over a Zav. The stringencies a Zav has over a corpse are that a Zav makes the bed and seat underneath him Tame, to the extent that they transmit Tuma to a person who touches them, and he in turn transmits Tuma to the clothes he is wearing. And also that a Zav makes items that are resting on top of him Tame with a light Tuma, i.e. a Rishan level of Tuma even if he does not touch them, and those items in turn are able to transmit Tuma to food and drink, but a corpse does not transmit Tuma in these ways. The stringencies of a corpse over a Zav are that a corpse transmits Tuma through Ohel, and that it transmits Tuma for seven days, but a Zav does not transmit Tuma in these ways.